All right, all right, all right. Welcome. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Del Tavier, aka Tay. This is Small Fry Budgets. Your girl has been gone for a minute, um, living life, caring for a newborn, taking a break, getting vaccinated, all the things. <laughs> um, but now I'm back. I'm trying to be back here um, again to just share my journey, share my personal finances, talk about money, talk about my debt-free journey, talk about my budgeting goals, all of the things. In this video, I will be specifically um, updating you on my debt. I figure that's probably the best starting place <laughs> um, to come back um, in this video. I've been gone for like two months, I want to say. I have a two-month though, so I'm going to say it's about two months now. And um, yeah, I figure I'll catch you all up on where I am in my debt as of the end of April. Today is actually May 1st. May is my favorite month because it's my birthday month. And now it's also my favorite month because it's Mother's Day and I'm a new mom. So that's super exciting, but I still will be budgeting and disciplined in my spending. All right, enough of the chatter. Um, let me go ahead and jump into my budgeting journal. Of course, even though I've been gone, I still budget and I'm sure the same is the case for many of you. Just because you're not posting or whatever doesn't mean that you're not budgeting and managing your money. I would assume the best. So that, that's been the case with me, I'm still budgeting. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into this handy dandy journal. I picked it up, I think at Rite Aid or Walgreens, it was about 10 bucks. And I like it because I get to be a little bit creative in my spreads and also kind of customize them for what I need. So you're going to hear a crying baby and that's okay. <laughs> she's okay. She's with her father. Um, you know, she's just being a baby. So we're going to just pretend like that ain't happening. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into my April debt update and see what we are looking like for April. So before we go into this spread, I wanna show you or remind you of what I used to do with these. So it used to be in this, move this out of the way, it used to be in this um, journal, and which is an Erin Condren, like, I forget what these are called, but just like an Erin Condren journal. Um, and I used to do a spread in here. And it looked something like this and it was beautiful and inspirational and i loved it so much but i really didn't use this journal for anything else because i found that i needed something a little bit bigger so i decided to end not on not only that in 20 towards the end of 2020 we got a car so my debt totally changed and this was kind of outdated and um, I wanted to move everything into one place. So that's why we're here now in this spread. This is gonna be updated and that's what we're doing today. Alrighty. So as of April, I have one credit card that still has a balance on it that I'm paying off. Now I will say because I did a balance transfer, there's no interest accumulating on this card until May, 2022. So I'm not too pressed, but I do want to pay it off as soon as possible, well before May. Um, and currently, as of April, that balance sits at $2,202.77. And that includes a new MacBook Air, as well as a camera that I just purchased. And I got a new laptop like for the first time in about five or six years. So I'm not mad at it. And also I'm still waiting on my tax refund. We're expecting a good chunk of money that will basically help to pay this off. So whenever that comes, that'll go towards that. But anyway, that's where we are currently. And then for my student loans, I have two loans 
that total as of today, $11,949.70. I've made some small payments on this, but because you know we're in the like forbearance, I'm not prioritizing that. I'm just zooming, zooming you all in. Um, so I'm not prioritizing this, but you know, I'll pay a little bit, especially if the president, this administration decides to forgive um, 10,000. I would love to get this under 10,000. That would be like my strategy. Let me know what your strategy is. And then car loan is the new one. This is the new debt that we bought a car in August. And currently that balance is, the total balance is, $23,794.30. So we got a Hyundai Tucson in, I already forgot the year. I think it's 2019, I want to say. Mm -hmm. So when you add all of these up, let's go ahead and do that. I already did it, but I'll, I'll do it again. So $2,202.77. Plus eleven thousand nine hundred and forty nine dollars and seventy cents, plus twenty three thousand seven hundred ninety four dollars and thirty cents. That means that my total debt as of today is thirty seven thousand nine hundred forty six dollars and seventy seven cents. Um, and so, what I do want to go back to real quick in this book, just to kind of update you all is I did start the year off with this purple, which is a personal loan. So I did pay that off in February. I had a small personal loan or a balance, a small balance on a personal loan that I carried over from um, 2020 and I paid that off. And you can also see that my student loans, um, everything um, in 2021 was about 15326 dollars and 35 cents so my student loans have always made up the bulk of my debt and then the orange was my credit card debt so that's where i was in this book when i last updated you all on this channel so what i want to do now i'm doing that same concept that same kind of chart but i'm going to do it a little bit differently what i want to do is i think i'm going to do more of a line graph <laughs> So let me go ahead and I think I'll use this fine tip. I've been loving these fine tip markers because um, I just love the way they write. So anyways, let me go ahead and provide like the total debt. That's what's on this axis. And then these are the months. This is going to be December of 2020. And we're going to go through April so I'll tell you where I was. Again, this is not like a perfect science. You know, don't don't freak out or whatever if it's not perfect. But in December, I had about 41,000. I had exactly $41,088.89. Um so let's see, 41. So this is 40, 40.5. So we're about we're about right here. 40, 40 point. Oh, look at me. Now I'm freaking out. <laughs> We're about right here in December. Okay. And then in January, it was 40709 So $40,709.76. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. In February, I was at $39,060.47. So we're about here. In March, I was at, let's see, $37,609.47. So that was about here. And I'm currently at $37,946.60. No, and 77 cents. So, so I went up a little bit. And that's really from the credit card debt, to be honest. 
So this is what it's looking like. I'm just gonna go ahead and connect these dots real quick so we can see it together. Um, you know, this journey is not a straight line. I, I love this representation. You see sometimes it's, you know, straight down. Sometimes it goes up. Sometimes it's, you know, plateaus. It stays the same, you know, it is not a straight line and that is okay. I think, you know, we should stop putting so much pressure on ourselves to be perfect with this debt-free journey because it's not going to be perfect. Life happens. So anyways, enough of that <laughs> rambling. This is my debt update. So again, I'm at $37,946.77. This is where I was as of December and this is where I currently am. So overall, not mad at it considering that I have a, a newish car and um, looking to be credit card debt free as soon as possible. So if you are on a debt free journey, love to hear how that is going. Um, love to hear what you're doing about your student loan debt and any other debt that you may have. Um, most of us are dealing with student loans and probably car notes. So yeah, that's all for now. I will see you real soon uh, in my next video. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Thank you for checking it out, checking out my channel and my Instagram where I do post some other content on other financial related, budget related content on there. Um, so feel free to engage with me. I don't bite. <laughs> and um, I just love being a part of this community, which is why I keep coming back. I don't need to do this. I just enjoy, I enjoy the accountability and I just love binge watching budgeting videos. So if that's you, if you like that kind of content, if you like my content, then subscribe and leave me a comment, hit the notification bell and share my videos. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye.